What's up, YouTube? It's gonna be another Camaro vlog today. Um, I'm actually planning on going to wash it, but basically, I wanted to drive my car first. So, I'm gonna drive it around for a little bit, go on a little drive. Uh, maybe I'll see a fast car or two that wanna race. And then I'm gonna go wash it, and then probably put it up for a while. But yeah, I'm gonna go on a little drive before I go wash it, because it seems like every time I see a fast car, like, I see like Mustangs and Corvettes all over the fucking place. But it's always when I'm in my, my daily, which is a Cobalt, so like obviously I'm not gonna like race in that. That and I haven't driven this car in a while. It's been a couple weeks, I think. So, I figured what the hell, take it out for a drive. I worked third shift tonight, but I had to be up early for a hearing test at work, so I kinda got all day to do whatever. Um, I think I might actually wash this and then wash my motorcycle too. I haven't really decided yet. But I'm just gonna do a little loop here, maybe get some holes in. Oh, put my own roof. I don't know if you guys know this, but this car is not made for tall people. I have to like angle my GoPro like so far down just to see out the windshield for you guys. Cause I, I'm like hitting my head on the roof like constantly. I'm like 6'1", so everything's very short and wide about this car. I think I'm gonna go to uh, Peoria a little bit later cause my dad has an old um, 283 V8 small block. Um, I think it's a 283. It's either a 283 or a 327. I'll have to look when I get there. Um, but he's got an old V8 small block, and we have this S15 that I'm I'm currently gonna. Once I move, I'm gonna be doing all the body work on and everything, which I'll have like a whole video, like like I'll be videotaping all of that pretty much, so you guys see all that. But it's an old 89. No. Yeah, 89 S15 Sierra Classic. It's like the Sonoma Classic or whatever the fuck it is, I don't know. But it's a little, it's basically an S10, um, but the GMC version. And it's got a 4.3 V6 in it right now, and it's already like really light, so it's not like terribly slow. So I would really like to build that V8 that he's got. What the hell, what is that? So I want to build that V8 that he's got and then maybe get like a two-speed like power glide or a, maybe a turbo 350 and put in it and just make the truck like stupid fast with some slicks on it or whatever. The only issue is it's got like an eight foot bed on it so it's kind of like a long truck to make it like a race truck but I think it'd be cool either way. I mean we don't have to necessarily race it you know it's just it'd be cool to have like a V8 in the little truck. And then it's it's a small rotating assembly, so it would be pretty damn good for boost if I wanted to boost it. Which I mean, we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna go check that out later and see if I can get it. And if I can get that later, I'll I'll kind of show you guys that once I get it back home and in the garage and everything. Squirrely. I freaking love this car, dude. That was like all track game for to do to like keep the wheels from spinning, man. Unfortunately, I I have weird days off, so it's freaking Wednesday at 11 o'clock in the morning. Nobody, hey, look at my thing. Uh, nobody like that I talk to, like none of my friends or anything, are like out of work. Like they're all working, or the ones that do work, they're just sleeping. The only reason I'm up is because that hearing test. But I still didn't red light this car though. I honestly don't know where I'm going, so it looks like I'm driving in circles. It's it's because I am. Sometimes there's cops back here, so you have to kind of be careful, but sometimes there's not. If there's not any cops back here, I can generally get some good poles in, but they're freaking sneaky back here, man. They like to hide. Tell you what, one of the YouTubers I watch pretty regularly is uh, It's Just a Six. He just got his Camaro back. Dude, I've never been more excited for a freaking YouTube channel to get like a certain car because I like have it. So like it's super dope. I think his is a little bit newer than mine though. I think he's got the 13 or maybe it's 12. I don't know, mine's the 11. I'm pretty sure his is like a, a year or two older or newer than mine. So 
who knows but either way it's really cool because he's gonna have the same car and then he can kind of he's obviously gonna build it so I can kind of get some ideas on what I want to do to mine or what I don't want to do depending on what problems he runs into or whatever but as of right now I know um, I think it's Hellion it makes a really good uh, twin turbo kit for this car and obviously I, I would have to like forge the internals and all that but I think it'd be really cool to get a twin turbo on this car. You know, a lot of people talk about like gas mileage when they talk about their cars. And I gotta tell you, mine really wouldn't be that bad if I didn't love how much my car sounded, like how good it sounded. If I didn't love the sound of this car, my gas mileage would be awesome because I wouldn't be constantly doing this. Woo! Is there a junk car right there? Dude. Junkyard build. Coming right up. That's a prison, fun fact. It's like a, a federal prison, like like big time. There have actually been a couple like breakouts right there. Like, I think, I wanna say there's a women's side and a men's side, or maybe it used to be a women's prison. I don't remember. But back in the day, there was like, like a couple like girls that like broke out or whatever. And I only know this because I work right down the street and there's like a bunch of old guys that like were there when it happened. And uh, I guess they like literally just broke out of prison and then walked down to the fucking bar up here and then just sat there and had drinks. And they were just like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> like obviously they got caught because like the guards looked at like the bars first. I don't, I don't know why, but I guess it was like a known thing that like when you break out of prison, you go to bars, but they just, walked in and they saw him there and they're like hey <laughs> come back to prison <laughs> they fucking took it back <laughs> Woo. had to there used to be no cops on this road back here like at all and it was like literally awesome because it was like me and my buddies he lives back behind me and I live like up here like on the other side of town and it would be what we called our make up for time road so like if you're like driving all the way here doing the speed limit blah 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 well none of these businesses were really here except for i think that one like this one was closed i think this one was closed so there was nothing back here and then there's a cornfield right there so it's kind of tall so nobody can really see you until you get over there so this road right over here dude we would just fucking book it like 100 mile per hour every time we went down this road. And then one time I turned on this road and in that parking lot back there, there was like two cops sitting there. And I was like, well, <laughs> gonna warn all my friends cause we're gonna get fucking a shit ton of tickets if I don't. Oh, that's a nice looking Mustang. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Like I'm not a huge Mustang fan. Like I much prefer Camaros by a long shot, but the new ones look pretty fucking good, dude. Is that Caleb? That was definitely Caleb. He's got a really fast fourth gen. He like drag races, unlike the norm though. So like, it's kind of expected. What the fuck? Why are they open? Or not open. That was the opposite of what I wanted to say. Why are they closed? Dude, I so should have backed in. Should I back in? I'm doing it. It's gonna sound so fucking sick. Am I a little bit of a tool for that? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Do I fucking care? No. No, I don't. Say what you want about visibility and Camaros, but it sure does fucking suck. Let's just, uh, you guys are gonna love this. I am anyway. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely worth it.
just got back home um, from washing my car. I think the last thing you saw was me starting to dry the car or kind of near the end of drying the car. My GoPro actually died. Um, I had thought I brought the second battery, but it turns out I left my bag with all my GoPro stuff, like literally right next to the front door. So I uh, just wanted to edit or end out this video just to kick out a quick video of doing just some fun shit in the Camaro and got a little wash in. So I'm pretty much gonna be putting that up for um, probably a couple of weeks. When I move, if it's not snowing, I'll be moving the car to the new house uh, first. So it's not snowing when I do move the car. Uh, but other than that, I probably won't be in the Camaro too much um, for the next you know, couple months, just be due to the winter time and snow. And I'll, I'll try to get some content out while it's snowing in the winter time or whatever, uh, just so you guys have something to watch. So yeah, that's all for this video. I will see you guys next time.